Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Help a brother out. We're almost at a million subscribers. It's free. Press it right now. Thank you. So today we're talking about Meg the Stallion. If you don't know Meg the Stallion, she's actually a recent, I mean I'm talking pretty recent, artist that just popped up and just became a, a, an absolute legend. I mean she made Hot Girl Summer, got super popular off that. Her popularity skyrocketed. She was on the XXL cover. I mean, she's done a lot with her career at, in a short amount of time, and she's done so much. And so Meg Thee Stallion actually has been uh, having some legal issues lately, and we're talking about that today because um, musicians and, and, and artists with their legal issues and their, their record labels, it happens a lot. It happens often. So let's talk about a little bit of that right now. So Meg Thee Stallion was actually a part of a record label and um, she's actually taking them to court because of some issues that she's having with her contract. And so she actually got in uh, with a company called uh, 1501 and 1501 is just a record label that she's signed to and uh, right now she's having some issues because, well, I'll just read it to you. So right here it says, uh, Meg Thee Stallion claimed that she, when she signed the contract, she was young and naive. Um, and she signed the contract in early 2018. According to court documents filed by her team and Crawford and 1501, uh, Crawford I believe is the owner of 1501, um, she says that the, uh, the record label took complete and total advantage of her and fraudulently induced her, or excuse me, inducted her into entering into a contract. That contract, the documents allege, uh, is not only entirely unconscionable but ridiculously so. Now I'm not going to get into legal jargon with all that means. Basically she don't like the contract she's in and she wants to get out of it. And so here's my biggest issue and this is why I want to make this video because I know a lot of you out there who watch my content and who consume my content are musicians and some of you guys are very talented and I want to just give you a tidbit of advice. A lot of artists, a lot of artists have been having issues with their record label. Okay, I can name Dozens of artists, hundreds really. Um, Kesha is a great example. Prince, he had some issues. Um, and there's a lot of artists and rappers who've had issues throughout the decades trying to get their masters, trying to get all of the things they signed away in that contract back in their name, okay? Uh, there are some people who have signed off their whole album, their entire list of songs that they've ever made, and the record label owns it, okay? What you have to realize is when these artists sign these contracts, any record label, any and every record label wants every piece of work that you've ever done. In exchange, you get money, prestige, power, fame. This is what you are giving up to gain those things that I mentioned. So Meg Thee Stallion is like many other young artists who wanted the fame, prestige, money, and all of that stuff. She got it. She got it in exchange for her rights to her music. And now she's trying to double back at the age of 25 and say, I was duped, I don't like the contract I'm in, I want out. No ma'am, you can't do that. Listen, I don't like people who get into these contracts, they claim that they're young and dumb and they don't know what's going on. Yes you do. Listen. There's a lawyer most times sitting next to that person or somebody that represents them, whether it's a parent right, or a guardian or somebody who's conscious enough to read these documents or somebody who's smart enough to take these documents to a lawyer. To believe that these kids, these teenagers, these adults don't have somebody there to help them. To sign these contracts is dumb because most record labels are going to make sure you have somebody there who helps you understand every single element of that contract. I've seen artists actually mold the contract to who they are as a person, to what they want for their own life, their own career. And so I really, really don't believe Meg Thee Stallion when she says she didn't know what she was getting herself into. That's a lie. In fact, I'll tell you this. Nine times out of ten, the artist is the one that made the contract. They're the ones that really called the shots. A lot of times as a record label will sit down with an artist and ask them what they want, what their issues might be, or what they want out of their career. And the record label will give it to you. But remember, every single contract is something called fine print. And in that fine print, it'll tell you, this stuff that you're getting from us comes at a cost. And what that is, is the rights to your music, the rights to your art. They own it. 
Every actor that signs on for a movie or a TV show or a short film, their face will always be on that screen whenever it plays, whenever the, the record, not record company, whenever the movie company or the producers or whatever want to put their face on TV, there's nothing they can do. Because when the actor signs that paycheck, signs that contract, they know what they're getting themselves into. No matter how much they hated the movie, no matter how much they don't want it to air, their face will always be associated with that movie because that's the contract they signed. Artists are no different when it comes to music. When you sign that contract, your money is going into your pocket, into your bank account. You are a millionaire. But guess what? It comes at a cost. The cost is your rights to your art. And I wish that everybody who watches this video, this is, I, I like this video because it's one of those evergreen videos, right? I like the evergreen videos because it means you can watch this in the year 2028 and it's still relevant, right? This video is about being smart when you are sitting in front of a contract. When you're sitting in front of a record label or a TV producer or wherever, whoever, however. This video is telling you as a young artist, as a person who wants to get into the industry, be aware about what you're about to sign. Don't just sign away your life for some money, power, prestige. Really think about what you're doing before you sign the dollar line. I really like Chance the Rapper, and here's why. Chance the Rapper is pretty much 98% independent. I say 98% because, well, you no one's 100% independent. He needed help from somebody, some company. He needed something. But 98%, meaning he did not sign his rights away to any record label. Everything he did was homegrown. Everything he did was financed by people he knew or himself, and that was it. I like that because he's one of the very few young artists who don't have to fight for the rights of his music, who don't have to fight for the right to get on or off a contract. This is extremely important because it shows you people like Chance the Rapper, people and other artists who've done it all by themselves, essentially, never had the need for contracts and record labels to hound on them, to take them to court over stuff like this. Meg Thee Stallion needs to learn this lesson. And hopefully she can teach other young kids the same lesson. Young women especially. It is up to you to sign that contract. Nobody took her hand and made her scribble her name on the dotted line. Nobody. No matter how young she was, and I guarantee you she really couldn't sign until she was 18. Over 18 in fact. No record label is going to have a child sign a contract like that. Once again without a legal guardian or a parent. So whether it was her or somebody else next to her, somebody knew what she was signing. And so, once again, I'm just saying, for all of you out there who are young artists who are trying to get into the industry, any industry, just be very aware of the fact that you are going to have to sign something away. Every artist that you see who's famous, flashy, rich, powerful, they all had to sign something away. Whether it was their freedom, their time, their energy, these artists that you see going around traveling the world, sounds great. Traveling the world, going on a tour. But it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot out of you. How about this? Go look at the Beatles interview. Go look at the Beatles documentary. They'll tell you. The Beatles, one of the greatest bands of all time, will tell you it is not all it's cracked up to be. So do I feel sorry for Meg Thee Stallion? No. I don't feel sorry for any young artist who sat down at the table and signed their rights away. Do I wish she did more research before she did it? Yeah. But I guarantee you one of the first things she heard sitting at that table was how much money was going into her bank account and the power that she would gain from signing that contract, like most young artists. It's hard. It's hard to deny that that's what we want out of life, power and money. We all want some of that. But remember, there's a cost to everything. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you as a young artist or as a person who's going to any type of industry. I hope it helped. And if Meg Thee Stallion watches this video, hey, no hard feelings. I'm just saying facts. Just facts. It's, you got to know what you're signing for anybody out there. Love you guys. Thank you for watching this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button. Guys, please help me out. Please help me. I'm busy. I got a lot going on. But I love you guys and I'm trying to make this work. I'm trying to make this channel happen. So subscribe and watch and share and help a brother out. I love you guys. I hope you all have a great day and quite frankly, an even better tomorrow. God bless. I will see all of you beautiful people later. Well, I can't really see you. You get the point. Love you guys.
Have a great day.